Hi there, and welcome to this video on A-level chemistry for the AQA specification, focusing on the topic of bonding, and in particular, covalent and dative covalent bonding. Hi, I'm Manisha from StudyMind, where we help you to revise A-level chemistry with our helpful revision resources tailored to your subject, your specification, and to you. If you're new here, please make sure to click that subscribe button, and whilst you're watching, please leave any comments down below about anything you're unsure of. If it's your first time watching, make sure to let us know so we can send you our free revision resources. We also have helpful timestamps to guide you through the video. So, let's get started. Welcome to lesson two of seven in this tutorial, covering dative and covalent bonds. This is the second video in our series of seven lessons on the topic bonding. In the last lesson, we looked at ionic bonding and the formulae of ionic compounds. Here are the key learning objectives for this lesson. We'll start off by looking at single covalent bonds, move on to multiple covalent bonds, and finally look at dative covalent bonding. Here are the AQA specification points for this lesson. Feel free to pause the video now and have a read through them before we begin. We'll start off by looking at the definition of a single covalent bond. There are three main types of covalent bonding we will cover in this video. The first is sim single covalent bonding. The second is multiple covalent. And the third is dative covalent. Atoms will share electrons to gain a full outer shell. Remember, they want to gain a full outer shell because this is when the atom is most stable and will be inert. In this diagram, both the H and the F need to gain an electron to get a full outer shell. They can do so through covalent bonding, which enables them to share electrons. A single covalent bond contains a shared pair of electrons. Each covalent bond will involve two electrons, making up this shared pair. When two or more atoms join together, a molecule will be made. For example, four hydrogen atoms and a carbon atom will make the CH4 molecule. This is methane. In this diagram, we can see that the hydrogen needs one electron and the carbon needs four electrons to make a full outer shell. In this diagram, we can now see that covalent bonding has enabled them to share the electrons. A covalent bond will form between atoms that are non-metals. The main form of bonding between non-metals are these covalent bonds. The nucleus of an atom will have an overall positive charge, since protons are positively charged, and neutrons do not have any charge. This means that there will be an electrostatic attraction between the positively charged nuclei and the negatively charged electrons. This electrostatic attraction holds the two atoms in the covalent bond together. In this diagram, there will be attraction between the shared electrons and the centre of the H and the centre of the F, where the positively charged nuclei will be. There are two electrons in each covalent bond where each is represented by either a dot or a cross. Each atom in the covalent bond gives one electron to each covalent bond. 
The dot cross diagrams will only show the outermost electron shell, as this is the shell involved in the covalent bond. Let's move on to our second learning objective, covering the fact that multiple bonds will contain multiple pairs of electrons. Atoms can form multiple covalent bonds, as well as single covalent bonds. This is when several pairs of electrons are shared. A multiple covalent bond can be either double or triple covalent bonds. A double covalent bond is when an atom will share two pairs of electrons. For example, the covalent bond between two oxygen atoms involves sharing two pairs of electrons to gain a full outer shell. This is shown in the diagram here. Both the oxygen atoms need two electrons to gain a full outer shell. Here, the covalent bonding has enabled them to share these electrons, giving each of them a full outer shell. A triple covalent bond is when the atom shares three pairs of electrons. For example, the covalent bond between the two nitrogen atoms involves sharing three pairs of electrons to gain a full outer shell. These are shown here. Before, both the nitrogen atoms need three electrons to gain a full outer shell. However, here, Covalent bonding has enabled them to share these electrons to gain a full outer shell. Here, we can see our double covalent bond example, which is oxygen, and our triple covalent bond example, which is nitrogen. Let's move on to our next learning objective, covering date of covalent bonding. In a date of covalent bond, both the electrons and the electron pair will be donated by one of the atoms from the bond. Now let's look at our final specification point, covering the representation of covalent bonds. Here, we can see the line diagram for an ammonium ion. It's important that the head of the arrow touches the atom receiving the donated electron, which is here. It's also important that this arrow points away from the donor atom, which is here. The donated pair of electrons are represented by two dots, shown here. We've now covered all the specification points for this tutorial. Feel free to go back through the video and re-watch any of the sections you are unsure about. We've now completed Lesson 2. If you liked this video, make sure to catch our latest videos by subscribing down below and leaving a comment on a topic that you'd like to see a video on. Click here to watch more videos on our series of A-Level Chemistry or visit our website studymind.co.uk for past paper compilations by topic and specification.